it's not too bad apart from like the last couple of weeks when we've had sort of really hot days like 40 45 degrees i try to deal with the heat by going to the beach i just mainly stay in and lie on the tiles where it's cool and just keep the air conditioning on all day i try to put sun cream on my own back so you can imagine i'm kind of like this and you can after i've been sunburned you could see where my hand prints had been when i put my sun cream on so don't ever do that sun cream here in australia we have masses and masses and masses of heat. Slip, slap, slap, slip, slap, slap. Put your sun cream on. Sun cream. It is vital in Australia. You need it. Seriously, you will crisp. Don't burn. Slip, slap, slap to get over sunburn, and then you're not burned. Although I still did. I was purple when I first got my sunburn. I found it hard to walk. Sharks? I've never seen one. I've never heard about anyone that I know seeing a shark or being eaten by a shark or... Swim at your own risk, really, I think. Never seen a shark. Don't want to see a shark. I'll never go back in the sea if I see a shark. No, I ain't never seen a shark. Shark! Stop! Stop! Yeah. He's gone. What happened to him? He's gone. Sharks doing surf rescue, you see them all the time but never really faced us. Swam with um, one when it was in the water and I didn't know it was there until I got out. Even when I knew it was in there the second time I was absolutely fine. Spiders and snakes, I think, yeah, they're pretty cool. Stay out of the way and they're not really going to harm you. When we first came over I thought, oh, I'm going to see snakes everywhere. I'm going to see all these spiders, they're all going to kill me and everything. But um, I've never seen a snake. I don't intend to see a snake. Crikey, look what we've got here. It's a beautiful orange-bellied, yellow-backed cove snake. Can you believe it? It's off! So here in Australia, we have a wide variety of snakes. But let's face it, the chances of you coming near one or coming in contact are quite slim. If you do end up coming in contact with one of these beautiful creatures, just steer clear. Anyway, you make noise and they'll bugger off. I love them. I absolutely love I was chasing a snake, filming it, and when I was on the way to Joe's, and uh, yeah, I just think they're fascinating. Spiders, not so much, but I can leave them. I think it just comes part and parcel of coming here. Like, I knew they were going to be here, so. That, actually, that's one thing my dad, when he came over here, came back and started telling me stuff like, um, or the flat, the, um, the spiders are so big in Australia that you can't kill them, you've got to like brush them out of the house with a broom. <sighs> spiders, oh. In Australia, we have a massive range of spiders. Now you see this one? Luckily, this one is a friendly spider and you can stroke its back and everything. There are big spiders, small spiders, poisonous spiders, nice spiders. Luckily, it's fake. But there are many that are not, and they could kill you. Nah, some of them will, some of them won't, so just be careful. Oh, the flies. The flies are an absolute nightmare. They're so bad. It's like, like you can't imagine how bad they are. They always come and attack your face. You're trying to get away from the heat and then you have like 20 little flies like bombing into your he head and that's... They were terrible and I thought I would just go home because of the flies. The worst thing about the flies is when you put your lip gloss on and the flies land on your lip gloss and they stick to your lip gloss and they won't come off. That's the worst <laughs> thing. 